Hello, everybody. It's so like it's Sonic's birthday. We didn't really do much other than watch a bunch of Sonic's AM, eat a bunch of chili dogs. You know the usual. And it was a good time. You guys missed it. We were we were like doing a conga, and it was it was great. And nobody got super drunk except for maybe. Oh, Bugsy Curtain came around. You know he's like. Part, he's like us, but a Sonic, but he's also a Bugsy. It's really cool. Yeah, he's with that Claire Necrom... Necro... Uh, Neko Monica, you know? She's like a... A Neko, that's it. She's like a robot Neko. Yeah, yeah, it was cool to talk to Kurt Jane again. He was chilling. He was like, yo, I came here. Came here to this party. So I came. So I actually, the guest of honor did come to our come to our little soiree. I mean, we say soiree, but it was more like a fucking house party that we just that we just threw for Sonic in his honor. It was a great time. But we. But we do want to. We do want to literally, you know. We literally want to show the trailer to Sonic Villains because, folks, we are going to make, we're thinking of making a commentary to it. Or maybe not, not even a commentary, we're probably going to review it. <laughs> it's not going to be a mock video to this, but we could. And you know what I like? Hey, you guys know what I really like about this trailer? Other than the fact that, other than the fact that Scourge is in it, and you, and you basic, and you know, out of, out of, like, you know, breaking from a fall, you basically voice Scourge. Yes, yes, my, yes, yes, Mego, pretty astute. But what I do like. Is that they're giving Sonic some gravitas, you know? I mean, you're kind of getting that in Sonic Prime, and that's cool and all, but like, it's cool and all. But I like how this one can go completely, can go really further than, since the fan film, it can go further than an actual, than an actual canon, or an actual Sonic project like Sonic, uh, it can go a lot farther than Sonic Prime. Dude, I think, like, Sonic Villains, it's the Sonic Prime we all want. You know? And I'm just... So, uh, Prime, are we gonna... Are we gonna, like... We're gonna back it up just in case, you know, Sega decides... They're not gonna do nothing, but just in case, man, yeah, maybe we make, maybe we should make a little backup of that, you know, just in case. <laughs> so, so the boss can put it in his freaking, you know, his little nostalgic room. Yeah. Even though Sonic's in danger, he made that kid smile like, yeah, it's a smile. See, but I really do enjoy this because, like, they don't ignore the fact that Sonic almost died. That they thought Sonic almost died, and that probably did lead to a lot of trauma. You know, it kind of makes more sense than the uh, other fan projects that have Sonic, they're, you know, having some trauma. Because it's the trauma of everybody around him. Which, yes, it's pretty good. I really feel like Forces wanted to, like, 
kind of feel like they killed Sonic off just for a little bit. But I feel like someone was like, nah, we can't have Sonic just, like, croak and then come back. I think, and, you know, this may be weird coming from me. But I think it's better when the other characters, the psychics, the tertiary characters, get to actually fight against the villain even if the main hero is dead because it pretty much shows that what he inspired still is on. Are you guys... You guys are referencing the time. I was... You guys are refer, referencing the first time I was dead, aren't you? It wasn't a good... It wasn't a good time for all of us. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Eh, I, I, I know. That's all I... That's all you guys were. But guys, you sucked on exe. Oh shit! Why is that thing here? Because it had to be here, man. The exe fans would have probably been like, "No! Oh my god, no! Nine, nine! He needs to be in here. He's a villain too." Uh, don't we hunt those EXEs? <laughs> yes, we do. And it's funny because all of them, they, they all like all the little fans out there think that they're think that they're powerful. They ain't powerful to compare to a cat to us cat swords. Their powers don't even really do anything to us. <laughs> we have to pretend to make them feel better about themselves. And when they do, they're like, no, 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 you can't, you can't do that. No, it's not supposed to go there. Please, ugh. That's my favorite part. Oh man, I love I just love us getting EXE's the business. <laughs> yeah, me too. Some of some of Majin and use, they're cool. We don't we don't mess with them. Yeah, because they don't mess with other people. What about Lord X Prime? Lord X is fine as long as he doesn't try to muck up any any of the other in any other dimensions, we're cool. For now, at least. So, I mean... Yeah, so, do you think the mo you think the movie's gonna be good? Ooh, but uh, we got another thing we need to look at, too. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. So, Pirate Adventure 1 was more like their version of Sonic 06. Pirate Adventure 2 was more of like Sonic Adventure 1. And Pirate Adventure 3 is just Sonic Adventure 2. In their own... In their own, like... In their own universe, yes. And we're going to be seeing our pal, Bugsy Curvetane, in his own series soon enough. The boss is still working on the details, but he's trying to get something. Trying to get something that is vaguely Sonic related to go through. Because he still thinks. He still thinks the uh, Sonic Freedom Fighters idea is cursed. Do you think it is cursed? I mean, he's trying to get that, he tried to get that series to work. Numerous times. And every time, it's just never seen. It never seems to have the right people, or it never seems to get up off the ground. So, you tell me. Hey dudes, what are you guys watching? Oh, Bugsy Curtain, glad you're here. Oh, you guys are looking at Pirate Ride Adventure 3. Ah, uh, there's, there's Noob. And where, you know, the icon, which is supposed to be everybody's character. And uh, there's there's Claire. Hey, Mr. Curtain, are you still tripping out? Nope. And I saw Sizzlehead. And my pal Apollo. And Hazel. Nope. 
Noob is kind of an edgy dude, man. He is. He really, he really is. So, you know, what's going on with you and Claire, Mr. Mr. Current, Mr. Current Hand? Nothing, Megalo, nothing. I mean, you guys were really close at our little party, party today. We're just hanging out. That's, it's nothing. Oh, it didn't look like nothing. I didn't, I, you know, I haven't seen a robot, I haven't seen a Neko, I haven't seen a robot cat blush before in my life. Yeah, I think old Sizzle, old Sizzlehead, as you put it, probably just put, you know, blush for stuff as a robot. Yo, guys, can we stop talking about Claire like she's just a machine? Ah, uh, sorry. You know, I'm, you know, I'm used to be a bad scientist, so you know. Ah, uh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, Pirate Adventure 3 is coming out, guys, and, um, uh, there's gonna be an, there's going to be, let me pull out my thing, so I already know. After all these years of waiting, Pirate Adventure 3 is finally out. We lost so many things. We lost so many adventure type Sonic projects on Roblox, but yeah. Pirate 3 is coming. It's gonna be an open. It's gonna be an open beta. Well, an open demo for it. Uh, around like two more days so we can actually check it out. It'll be out on Sunday. It'll be out on Sunday. So I guess after Pirate Adventure Three, that's when your that's when your series is gonna happen, right? I can't really say. It's really just a fan series because we're not really in league with Vogue yet, but we want to do this series to kind of you know because. Every pirate adventure, you know, everybody that plays pirate adventure, they play as their own character. So our thing is set in its own dimension, and everybody else's is too. So that's what we want to do, but we're still trying to work out the details. Or maybe we're just gonna, you know, what we should call it Boundless Adventure. Like, it's still connected to the pirate name, but just, it, it's its own thing. Are we really gonna, are we really going to, are we really gonna brainstorm title names? I think we could. But, uh, yeah. We want to say to the to the big head talk himself, happy birthday. None of us, well, Curtain over here wouldn't be here without you, Sonic. And uh, Sonic, I would like to tell you, um, thank you for existing. Because without you, I don't think I'd exist the exact same. So in a sense, it's like we're cousins. And it's good. It's good to, it's good to, I shouldn't reveal uh, plot stuff now, but it's good to see you there. I'll leave it at that. So, yeah, well, See you guys later. We hope you enjoyed the Pirate Adventure trailers and the and the Sonic Villain trailer. I mean, don't get us wrong. We love the canon. We love the official Sonic stuff that's coming out, but we always like the fan stuff that comes out. Especially now that people are still going back to doing fan, you know, trying to do this. They're trying to do a fan movie. And we see a lot of people doing fan-made Sonic series. So that's 
pretty good too. Because we we remember we remember what we remember that Sonic Misadventures was supposed to be a thing, and then like it kind of just fizzled out. And you know, so I don't know. They may have discouraged a few people from actually doing it. I mean, you'll get the occasional S S F M, you know, little short cartoon, whatever. But you never get a full blown series, either because people either lose, people either lose a little bit, lose a little bit of love of it. You know, with our boss, uh, a lot of the like he really believes that Sonic Freedom Fighters was cursed, and that's why he can never really finish it or get it started. But um, yeah. So, and you know, the boss says when it, when Sage comes back at like September, or, he's gonna be doing more Sonic stuff for you guys. And, you know, Curtain will be on the council for a bit to promote the new show whenever we get around to that. So, we'll see you guys later, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys real soon. Any last words before we get out of here? Well, me, Bugsy, you know, I, Bugsy Prime, want to say one thing. Isn't it good when we don't have to do, isn't it good when we're taking a break from those in a breaker and we ain't stressed out of our minds? And they're not destroying the world, they're just kind of destroying each other at this point because of, this, because of all the Titan shit. Oh my god, don't even get me started on Double Zeta Break, the Double Zeta Breaker universe and everybody getting hooked up on that Titan Juice. Uh, guys, what are you talking about, Titan Juice? And what's this Double Zeta Breaker universe? Oh, don't worry, man. You, you, we're, the whole council's taking a break of that universe, so you don't never have to hear us talk about it really that often until something major happens. Yeah, we'll tell you that. We'll tell you at the inventory. You know, you know, uh, Curtain, do you drink? Not a lot. I mean, I mean, does the inventory serve, you know, non alcoholic things? They do now. Uh, they do now. They, we know you like that whole, uh, Chaos Cola thing, so they have a few of those there. Yeah, um, the inventory had a big sponsor with Chaos Cola, so they're kind of, kind of cool with them now. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool, dude. And oh yeah, welcome aboard. Um, we throw you a party, but we already kind of threw one for Sonic, so we literally have nothing else left. Uh, do I get, do I get my own... Like, I can leave whenever I have to deal with Sizzlehead, right? Any, anytime Bacon Hair shows up, you can, you know, you can leave. We all got responsibilities, responsibilities outside the council, so that's fine. How are you guys so, how are you guys so good at running, running the council like this? Because we're not that... We're not a certain person who tried to run an entire nation and then blew it all up. Basically, we're better than a certain leader we had to deal with back in the day. You know, are you guys referencing that Double Zeta Breaker Universe again? I don't really need to tell me about that place. It, it's not a good place to be at. You know. <coughs> oh! My dear, my dear chaotic friend, we'll tell you about it sooner. We'll tell you, tell you about it sooner or later. Hey, Mel, I didn't know you were here. Eh. 
I was uh, kind of using you guys' bed, and then you guys were talking about the uh, Sonic Villains movie in Pirate Adventures 3, which you all did without me, and I'm fine with that. But, you know, be nice if y'all just woke me up. Dude, no one, wa- Dude, no one wants to go and go into that bed and touch you after you and your little lady friend got, you know, got finished. No one wanted to do that. Yeah, I'd rather, uh, I'd rather burn off my hands now. We love you, man, but we, I'd burn off my hands before I'd actually, you know, try to wake you up while you're in, while you're in the boss's bed, actually. The the condo is not just ours, it's his. (laughs) Oh, yeah, it is. My mistake. So, are we, we're done here, aren't we? Yeah. Well, well, I'm Bugs, I am Bugsy Prime, the leader of the council. I am Megalo. I'm Doc, I'm still Dr. Megalo. Never call me insane, oh Bugsy, even though that's basically what I used to be. And I'm Overlord, you know. It's fun to be mean, but. You have never seen the Overlord. Yeah, that's me. And I'm Bugsy the Curtain. Um, you know, folks, just remember, push, you know, like push your, like always keep moving forward. Always keep, always keep living your life. Don't let the stupid, don't let the dumb things like stuff on Twitter and stuff bog you down. And Always, always live life to the fullest, folks. This is the Bugsy Council and Bugsy Curtain signing off. You know, actually getting dinner better myself. Yeah, you're gonna fit nice in here. You're gonna fit nice in here, Curtain. You really are, dude. Alright, guys, let's get out of here. Peace. <laughs>